So it's Shane, thanks for watching. As you saw the little intro there, I just hung for the first time a ridge line on my grand trunk hammock. Some advice from other YouTubers on uh, putting a ridge line on your hammock. Here, I'll just turn the camera around so we can see that because that's what this video is all about. So this is what I'm talking about. What I have here is my grand trunk hammock and it's on the gathered ends, it's just some paracord and it comes with this little S-clip that I just attached to my uh, suspension. But what I've added here is a piece of am steel. On this end, I got a continuous loop that I just made myself, which I'm pretty impressed I was able to do, even though it's really simple. Just looped it through itself ran it across and on this end for now I just have a square knot but when I get done filming this I'm gonna mark the point here and make another continuous loop so that way it'll just be no knots to tie I got it adjusted to where I like it uh, why would you do that well you may see from the video that I, I'm I'm got the hammock hanging quite a bit higher than I was on the opening segment and I've also had it lower too I've been messing around and the idea with the continuous ridge line is it maintains the amount of sag that you have in your hammock quite consistently so that means that uh, you have a lot more adjustability or variability on how you hang your hammock, you know, judging by how high you want it, uh, for whether whatever situation that may be, or the distance between the trees, you know, your suspension cables are going to be, or straps or whoopee slings or whatever you have are going to be coming down at a different angle, and then that will add a different amount of tension on your hammock. This way, you're nice and consistent. So. Uh, Shug has a much, much better video than I can ever do. I'll put the link right down in there so you can watch his videos. And you've probably seen it before. If you don't subscribe to Shug Emery, uh, something's wrong with you. He, he is a, a really good source for information on hammock camping and whatnot. What you do is you measure your length of your hammock. I'll just step back so you can see it all in one shot here, hopefully. If you see the red ridge line in the snow there you measure the length of your hammock and then you start with about 83 percent length for your rope i imagine the first person that did this said 80 to 85 and people just went you know shot for nominal from there so measure your hammock uh i went with about 85 percent maybe a little more i think i rounded up to the nearest inch afterwards and I cut the the rope off at that, plus a little extra, just in case I like it right at the end, although I, I figured I wouldn't from. You see here, I just tied a simple square knot, got in it, laid around for a while, and did the knot, tighten it up, loosened it, you know, moved around a couple inches, and I dialed, you know, it's like a select number bed, everybody's gonna be a little different. Found the spot that I liked, and now, when I get, like I said, when I get done filming this, I'm going to mark it off, put a permanent loop in here, and I will be set. So that's about it. It's a real simple process, and you'll get a nice consistent sag in your hammock, which will make set up a breeze. Uh, and then there's also some other benefits with the ridge line. You know, you can use it to balance yourself when you're getting your boots on in the summertime. You can hang your hiking clothes on there to air out and dry out, which doesn't add any weight at all to your pack hardly, so why not? If you like this video, please like and subscribe and all that fun stuff for a lot more information and a lot more detail. And I'll just keep on pointing like that to make the point. Check out Shug's video. I'll put the link down below. It's well worth your time. Wait for the traffic, and that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.